Christchurch has had a year of change. After two earthquakes have shaken the city, things have had to alter in many ways. The city is moving forward and Christchurch has taken a unique approach at getting students back to their books. It's called site sharing, where two schools combine on the one site. So one starts work at 7.30 and goes to one, the next is 1.30 to 5.30. Here we have Charlie Bristow and Dalbert Costello, prefects here at St Bede's College. Now you guys have got the morning shift, so what's it like getting up early? I get up around 6.30, but I live 10 minutes away, but it's just the problem is traffic from where I live to get into St Bede's. So. so what's it like sharing a school with girls? Because this is a boys' school. Um, girls give you some pretty good tips on how to do your mascara and stuff. That's the thing oh, I've always yeah. struggled with. So, yeah, that's quite handy, I guess. <laughs> Mine's putting on foundation. Yeah, that's, yeah, it's always a bugger, eh? Yeah. No, it's just good. Like, they come into our classes yeah. sometimes, so it's really fun. It's good just catching up with friends from old, you know, primary schools or just people that you know from there and so. Now, it can take a lot of planning having two schools sharing the one ground. So when the first school finishes at 1pm, there's a half-hour bracket where the boys go out the back and the girls come on the front because with 1,400 students, it can get quite crazy. So here we have Hannah Malik and Tessa O'Reilly head girl and deputy head girl of Marion College. Now girls, tell us what's happened to your school. Well my school's suffered a bit of damage. Uh, we've had a few blocks that have been um, yellow sticker because they're structurally unsound, which is quite quite sad. So at the moment you're camping out at St B's. Yes, we, we sure are. are. <laughs> yes. Which of course is a boys school. Well at the start we thought it was going to be a real segregated like not even like to talk to them. Yeah, it was a sound of a sound like it was going to be really um, strict. But, has actually been too bad. Um, There's a little of, bit of interaction. Bit of interaction, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so any any romances? <laughs> not, not that, that, we know not that we've heard of. <laughs> uh, you never know. But <laughs> no, we're good little Marion girls. Yeah. Of course not. <laughs> so since you're having to fit your day into half a day, what does that mean for your classes? Uh, we've got shorter classes. They used to be 55 minutes periods, and now we've just got 45 minute periods. Um, it's not actually that bad, just 10 minutes shorter, so what it means is when we come into class, just make sure we really get underway really quickly, not making it around and it's actually alright. Now this is Sammy Swati and Sarah Drake, head boy and head girl of Burntide High School in Christchurch. Your school is the biggest school in Christchurch, you have 2,600 pupils, you're about to get a whole lot bigger with inviting 1,200 from Avonside Girls High School. So how does that work? Um, basically what we're doing now is we're just trying to sort it out because it's new ground for everybody and um, just a school the size of it inside, I think we're like 1,400. Um, we're now the biggest school in New Zealand so that, that's pretty good. We only get about an hour of uh, seeing them but I don't know, some of the boys get excited during that hour. <laughs> I bet they do. And so what does the big picture mean for you? Basically in the, the big scheme of things, the least we can do is to help out those who are sort of less fortunate that have come off worse off in the quake. Um, I mean, over this side of town, we've been extremely lucky. When we compare it to a school like Avonside, when you know they've had half their half their school destroyed, um, you know, the least we can do is to let them to come here and, and to sort of be as welcoming as we possibly can, so that they can actually get a good year of schooling in as well. Here we are with two girls from Avonside Girls High School. We have Shiloh Sutherland, who is the head girl, and we have Bethany Mathers, who's the head of the school council. Avonside Girls High is on the east side of the city. Yes. You're at Burnside now, sharing their school, which is on the west side. Mm -hmm. So what are the issues trying to get to the school? It's well, been yeah. a really big problem. Um, we've sorted out buses, mm -hmm. um, but still, then it's still taking us 40 minutes plus to get to school for some of us. There have been good things that come out of this, though. Well, it's, it's actually just really great to still be with our friends yeah. and to still have our teachers and... Keep the school together. Definitely. That's been, that's been really thing. great. One thing's for sure, our Christchurch community has come together and is helping out in so many ways. If you're keen to help Marion College or Avonside Girls, head to our website for more details.